all the family come up. We're going to bless a baby today. What a wonderful thing to do on this Sunday. Bless one of God's precious gifts. A baby. I've learned that there's no such thing as an accident. God don't accidentally do nothing. Every baby that's born is intended to be here. It is our job to love them and nurture them and to train them up. Come on down, minister. Let the minister down here with me. This is something that we take pleasure in doing at Morning View. And that's the blessing of an innocent baby. Brother John, we get my oil, my blessed oil up there. Can y'all see this little angel up here? This looks like an angel. Can y'all see this little angel? Yes. Okay. Yes. In the Bible, in the 10th chapter of Mark, it says, And they brought young children to him, that he should touch them. And his disciples rebuked those that brought them. But when Jesus saw it, he was much displeased and said unto them, Suffer the little children to come unto me. The word suffer means don't hinder. He said, And forbid them not, for of such is the kingdom of God. Verily I say unto you, whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child, he shall not enter therein. And he took them up in his arms, put his hands on them, and blessed them. Can't you just see Jesus standing there, probably tired and weary from healing the sick and making the lame to walk and the dumb to talk and stopping storms and stepping on water. And in the midst of all of that, he stops and takes the little baby. The Bible says he didn't just stand back and yell at him, but he took him in his arms. Can't you just see Jesus holding the little precious baby, putting his hands on him and blessing him. And that's what we're doing today. We're asking that same Jesus, the same Jesus, to bless this baby. But not only are we asking Jesus to bless the baby, we're also asking the parents that are you willing to live an upright life before this child? Are you going to train this child? Are you going to nurture this child? Are you going to love this child? Are you going to teach this baby to love her neighbor and to serve mankind and to love the Lord? See, we're first asking you to make a commitment that you're going to do this. And then we're going to ask God to take care of the baby while you're doing your part. So do you promise before God and this company to love this child, to nurture this child, to train this child, to teach her to love the Lord and her neighbor? Do you promise? Where's a grandmother? He's a godmother. A grandmother, take the child. We got two grandmamas here. Now, grandmothers. If for some reason the parents are unable or unwilling to keep their promise, will you keep their promise in their stead? Yes. And then we're asking the extended family, do you promise to participate in the raising of this child and the nurturing of this child and the teaching of this child? 
Do you promise? Okay. Give the child back to the mother. <laughs> okay. Now give it to me. What is the name of this child? Brianna? Brielle? Brielle. Renice. This child shall be called Brielle Renice Terry. Meet Brielle. says that children are the heritage of the Lord. The Lord, you have allowed us the privilege and the responsibility of raising this precious child. Now, God, help these parents to walk upright before this child. Help them to teach her and to nurture her. Help them to love her and to train her up in the way that she should go. So that when she's old, she won't depart from it. And then God bless the grandmothers and grandfather and all the extended family who are standing here today and made the same promise to help raise this child. Help them, oh God, to live up to their part and to support this family. And then bless this church, help this church to support these parents and this child. And to teach this child to love you and to love their fellow man. And God, we give you all the praise. We give you all the glory, and we give this child back to you all the days of her life. And it's in Jesus' name that we ask it all. Amen. 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 So when all the preachers to come by and lay hands on the child, all the preachers. <laughs> hey man, you may return to your seats. Robin, I want you to wait for this. Now, what I want to do is I want to, before the church, to thank you for what you have been doing for this church. several months now, every Sunday when Robin is here, she's up in the balcony Amen. and she records the service Amen. and she puts it on YouTube, right. on the web, World Wide Web for the whole world to see. Amen. There are people who have watched our services that we don't even know, Amen. but because of Robin's effort, our service is being put out there for anybody to see anywhere in the world. Amen. Now we didn't ask Robin to do this. Amen. She just started doing it on her own. Amen. And several people have told me that they were out of town Amen. and they saw the service because Robin put it out there. Amen. So they got a chance to see our service. Amen. So I just want to tell Robin, thank you. Clara's 
she was able to see Clara singing because of Rob. Amen. I lived there a few weeks before her death. Oh. And my son, Mississippi, tell me all the time he sees what's going on in church. And I told Robert how much I appreciate her. I thank you, Pastor, for recognizing her. I thank you, Robert, for everything that you do. Hallelujah. So I just give him the next opportunity to go back. And you not know what our members is doing for us. Because people we don't even know are hearing the word. And you know, in today's world, the church has to learn to take advantage of technology. The message doesn't change, but the method of delivery changes. When Jesus sent his first disciples out, told them to go preach, they walked. Amen. And the church moved from walking and moved into houses. Yeah. Then they moved from the houses into a church building. Yeah. And then from church building, they started radio ministry. Yeah. And from radio ministry, they went to TV ministry. Yeah. And now from TV, they're going on the world, world wide web so that everybody yeah. everywhere can see. And so we thank you, Robin, for helping us to get into the 21st century. Yeah. Yeah. Robin brings her own camera. Oh, and I've talked to Sharon about this because I don't want any member bringing their own equipment to do for the church what the church should do for itself. Yeah. The church needs equipment. We wouldn't ask you to bring your equipment no more. We'd ask Grace to bring up pots and pans. Right. Or ask Roy to bring his own vacuum cleaner. Yeah. And so if somebody's going to do something for the church, the church needs the equipment to do it. Yeah. I know I'm right about that. Yeah. I know I'm right about that one. Yeah. What the church can do for itself, the church does for itself. Now, we appreciate everything members do. But there's something the church ought to do for itself. And if the church couldn't do it, I'd do it out of my pocket if the church couldn't do it. It's just how much I love this church. But thank God I don't have to do it out of my pocket, because... <laughs> thank God. <laughs> but thank you, Robin. I just wanted to... Let everybody know. Get my makeup right now, so don't have me shining too much. <laughs> Amen. Sister uh, Gladys Matthews has gone home to be with the Lord, and her family is going to be here Saturday. She's not a member here, but she has some family members who are here. And so her family will be here Saturday. We don't know what time. Judy said they're going to the funeral home tomorrow, and the time will be set tomorrow. So if you need to know the time, you can either call Judy or watch for it in the Wednesday's paper. So they usually put the notices in the paper every Wednesday. So it will be in the paper. 